welcome back to my channel today we are going to make banana bread so this is going to be gluten free casein free nut free soy free banana bread you can always add nuts if you like but this recipe i am making without nuts for my nut free friends so uh, let me go ahead and show you guys what we have over here i have two eggs and i have baking soda salt our vegan butter homemade butter vanilla and I have two mashed ripe bananas so also we add oat flour and all the ingredients list and the measurements are in the description box so not to worry so first things first we are going to add all our wet ingredients the egg goes in first into my pan and then we are going to beat the egg really quick this way. That was fast and easy. Okay, the next one is our mashed bananas. You can even do the butter next, I really don't mind. I'm going to do another stir on that. It is really mashed, so that way it's gonna have a nice strong to it. Here I'm going to add my butter. You can even use a hand blender or your stand blender but uh, I don't think I need that today so I'm just going to dip it in my hand and I'm adding my soda and my salt and I'm adding a little bit of vanilla you can add one to two drops of vanilla you can also add honey or coconut sugar if you really have a sweet tooth then you need some extra sugar to it so this what we have added. Make sure it really combines well and there are no lumps. Alright, now we are getting ready to set my uh, oat flour into our wet mix. So, I'm just going to pour some and I'm going to mix it in. fold the flour into the mixture and it is very well combined right now and it is getting ready to go into our baking pan and off to the oven. I just finished applying oil to my parchment paper in a loaf pan um, and now we are getting ready to put this in. Alright, I have poured our batter in the loaf pan and it is getting ready to go into our oven for 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes or until brown and then we'll use a toothpick to check if it is done. Alright, our banana loaf bread is ready and um, I know that it is light yellow but I like it really moist and it is moist at this uh, point in time but if you guys really like a brown or dark brown you can always go ahead and bake some more but I'm going to show you how it has come so I'm taking it. And then I am going to go ahead and flip it over here. So the bottom part is really brown. That's why I don't want to bake it too much because it's going to really dry out my bread. And uh, I have let it also cool down for like 10 minutes. It's better to do it for like 30, 40 minutes. So that way you don't see these kind of uh, mishappening. So I'm just going very slow. It's still warm. Actually, it's a little hot too. So if you don't want like these, you may want to wait a little uh, longer so you can see the steam coming out. So the best thing is to wait a little longer so that way your bread is not really breaking up. So I'm just going to show one more piece on how it came. So it is really nice on the inside and then it's crusty on the top. We saw the top when I cut it, but here is the bottom if you all like this medium brown and we can go ahead and cut this also once it's cooled down and here is my banana bread and uh, we are ready to go eat our bread. Please subscribe the channel and uh, I will come back with more videos. See you soon.